Hey everybody out there. Um, this is Mountaineer Maple. We're doing a video today on how to change out a PCB valve and today we're going to be doing it on my wife's uh, 2013 Honda CRV. It's going to be different for most other vehicles. A lot of these Hondas are going to be the same um, but uh, we'll get started here and I'll show you what you're going to need. Now of course here's uh, the equipment and tools you're going to need. Now PCV valves are going to be different. Uh, you have to just get the kind uh, you know for your car. But for the Honda CRV, especially 2013, um, 2.4 uh, liter, this is the part number for it. There, I got the, this. is MicroGuard I got from O'Reilly's. Um, it's like 12.99. Uh, a little bit cheaper. You can get the OEM from Honda. It's like 28, 29 dollars. Um, but um, I've had pretty good luck with these um, right here from O'Reilly's. Um, they seem to work pretty good. And uh, you're going to need a um, round of 17 millimeter socket ratchet, 3 gates ratchet. These crush washers, as they call them, uh, work mostly for the um, your oil drain bolt, but. Um, they also work pretty good with these, and uh, you can get these off of Amazon. And um, there's a part number for those. Comes in a pack of twenty. I think they were like six dollars or something. Yeah. And just uh, set a needle nose or maybe some regular pliers. And we'll move over here to the uh, car, and then we'll check out where it's located. Okay, uh, if you're here at the front of the car and uh, pop the hood. Um, I'm in a garage, so I'm I'm using my um, trouble light. Uh, right here to the left, there's your radiator cap, and you got your intake right here. You'll see it right here. That is the location of the PCB valve. Okay. Basically, that PCB valve just takes your blow by gases it's in the crankcase and it sends it back up to into the uh, combustion chamber to be recycled and burn off again if they plug up and go bad basically it puts too much pressure in the crankcase and it's going to start leaking and burning oil and things like that so um, it's good to change them um, this one's got a hundred thousand miles so that's why I'm I'm doing the maintenance on it and if you're interested in doing the other maintenance, I've made the videos for it, for the uh, spark plug change, for the transmission um, fluid, and things like that. So, we'll get started. Okay, uh, first step you want to do is um, get your light down in here, um, is let that engine cool down. <laughs> because uh, these things get hot quick and these four cylinders run hard so just let it cool down uh, before you come out here and then uh, take your needle nose pliers or a small set of pliers now this these two uh, pins right here um, a lot of times will be on the bottom side and if they are just grab them uh, clamp onto one of them and uh, just kind of rotate it uh, around for you see if I can get a hold of it there like that and just pull it to, to it's on top uh, then you can take just your regular spare pliers clasp on that pull it back to a safe distance there now don't ever just grab and tug on one of these kind of just work it side to side like that okay because you can rip them you've got a little bit of forgiveness there if you um you know, if you if you rip one or tear one up, and you can cut it a little bit there, but so just take it, uh, the rubber hose, and put it out of your way. I'll just push it back over here, like that. There you can see the um, PCB valve, right there. Get the 17 millimeter ratchet with my three eighths. Put it on there. And be kind of gentle. I've taken these off before, and you can bust your knuckles. So just kind of don't 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 try to force it too hard. Let's try to just like that. There we go. Try to use both hands. Now, once you just break it loose like that, there, 
pretty easy. On some uh, vehicles, they just pop in, like my F-150, it just pops in, but uh, Honda screws it directly in. There's the old one. Uh, you can see the oil, and that is caused by the uh, fuel and oil both combined, and uh, can shake it. You can hear a little bit of the check valve in there. It has a check valve, so you know nothing goes back down this way, and it, all the gas and the fumes and the oil blow by gases go up and out. We'll uh, take it over here and uh, compare it to the the new one. And once you get these, um, I, and I suggest this on any parts, take the new one, take the old one, and uh, do a comparison on them. You can see they're pretty much identical. Looks like the aftermarket, the O'Reilly here, has got a little smaller diameter. All right. Now, one thing you don't want to forget is down on there where the PCV valve was. Let me move some light down there. Um, there's a crush washer on there, which I just knocked off, but it's okay. So, we'll put a new one on. Okay, so now we've got the um, new PCV valve and the crush washer going on, and we just take it down, end up here, and do not cross thread it, but just uh, don't try to force it, just get it started. Get my other hand in there. There we go. And just uh, turn it clockwise until you get it snug on there with your fingers. Take your 17 millimeter ratchet, slide it over top, get it nice and snug. There you go. All right, now you've got your tube, rubber tube. Put it on the end. Like that. Take your pair of pliers. Go to that pipe clamp there, or hose clamp, and uh, move it on over there. Close to the edge, probably about. Just like that, not even a quarter inch off of it. And get in there. Get in there. Get a little bit closer. There we go. I hope you can uh, see that okay. Can, uh, zoom in a little bit there. And there is your uh, PCV valve. And um, simple, easy to do. Save you some money. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps somebody out. Um, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments or something, or and um, I'll get back to you. Um, like I said, the procedure is a little different from vehicle to vehicle, uh, but it's a pretty important piece of the engine. Uh, that you want to to keep and keep clean and replace so um hope you liked it hit that subscribe button and uh we'll see you next time